What's going on YouTube? Um, I'm on here this morning because I thought about earlier uh, <clears throat> putting a video out here concerning um, what I'm feeling right now. Um, I don't know how many wrestling fans there are on uh, online uh, on YouTube, but uh, if you've heard of you know anything about wrestling, then you'll know that uh, one of the greats, Chris Benoit, uh, is dead. And so is his wife, Nancy, and his youngest son, Daniel, who's seven, or who was seven. Um, <clears throat> when I first heard about it, it really messed with me, because I've been a wrestling fan, uh, all of my life now. I mean, some people can say, you know, it's not real, it's this, it's that, and blah. But the fact is, is that it's entertainment. And that these men and women put their lives on the line every night to put on a good show and put on a performance. So, uh, if you love Beyonce and you love the way that she struts across the stage for two hours, or, um, and, and how she sings, and dances, that's entertainment. So it's the same. It's the same thing when it comes to that. Um, and wrestling, the, the, the world of wrestling uh, has millions upon millions of fans um, because of that, that entertainment. Um, What's astonishing is, is that uh, the Associated Press and a lot of people are uh, now saying that uh, Nancy Daniel and Chris were not all murdered. They're saying that Chris may have committed a suicide and that Nancy and Daniel um, were killed uh, and that they were killed at different times and that they were killed by Chris, um, which is extremely shocking to me uh, because I feel that you can tell a lot about a person and uh, you can tell a lot about about a person through <clears throat> through the way they perform uh, I don't care who you are if you're a singer and you try to fake the funk with people and you don't believe in what you're singing everyone can tell that it's the same thing with wrestling. Um, if you're not a good guy, if you're a punk, if you're fake, it doesn't matter how well of an actor you are um, and how well you you maneuver around the ring. People can tell that you're fake um, and that you're not a good person. And I never got that from Chris. But at the same time, we should never put a human being on a pedestal. Um, so I'm not saying that it's not possible that uh, Chris could have lashed out in some kind of way and killed his wife and killed his son um, and then killed himself. Uh, but I just, <clears throat> in my heart of hearts, I, at this moment in time, I do not believe that. Um, especially his son. Uh, his son was the world to him. And for him to kill his son I mean, it's so far-fetched to me. Uh, and they're trying to say that his wife was killed on Saturday, his son was killed on Sunday, and he was killed on, and he killed himself on Monday. Um, but at the same time, the police don't know at this moment in time. They still have to do an autopsy. But I just think it's very interesting that when... Chris was supposed to perform this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. He didn't show up. And he said it was because of personal uh, or family issues, uh, personal issues. And he didn't come. Um, but what I thought was extremely interesting is that he sent out text messages. He didn't call anybody. He didn't talk to anybody. Or at least from the information that I found so far, he didn't speak to someone. He texted them to let them know that he couldn't make it. And who's to say that it was even him texting anyone? Uh, and as far as the wife and the son being killed before him, 
Uh, that is very possible, but it's also very possible for someone to change the time of death um, for people. Uh, it's very possible for people to be put in uh, rooms with different temperatures um, to speed up pro the process of rigor mortis or um, to uh, slow down the process. Um, and, I mean, I'm just saying these things because... Uh, the police have assumed and put out uh, assumptions so I can come on YouTube and put out assumptions if I want to as well um, I wasn't there I don't know but Nancy since I've known her or watched her um, on television uh, I never got a feeling that she could be that type of person but I mean you know a lot of people say you know that you never really truly can know a person um, unless you live with them and uh, you've been around them and so I can't really say that um, she couldn't murder somebody as far as Chris I can't really say that he couldn't murder someone um, and then kill himself I mean all of these things are very possible but I I just don't believe that he would kill his son I don't believe that she would kill her son so I'm just like wow like I this is craziness to me and I mean if he was involved in in something or she was involved in something that um, they shouldn't have been involved in and some people killed him then that's a whole different situation um, and there have been many times when um, people have been killed and and it's been blamed on uh, on other people, uh, so you know maybe they had some ties into some worlds that they shouldn't have ties into, and uh, now they're gone and their son is gone because of it. I don't know, um, but I'm not gonna keep this video any longer. I just wanted to express myself, and for all family members who may view this, all friends. Uh, all colleagues of Chris Benoit and uh, all of the fans of WWE um, we've known Chris since 1985 and uh, we we love him and uh, our, our heart or my heart goes out to uh, to all of you guys um, stay strong during this time and um, be blessed Alright, take care. Peace.